Hello everyone, Cedarnet here with another update from the Avalanche ecosystem. A long awaited one, uh, waiting in the telegrams, waiting in the discords, but finally Penguin Finance is live and I'm gonna take you through how to interact with the contracts today. We take a look at their website first. Um, this is their main page. If you go here, you can see a timer that's counting down because at the moment you can start staking your liquidity, but farming rewards are turned off until I think about seven hours from now when uh, everybody has had a moment to put in some liquidity. Now let's get to the exciting part. This is where you select where you want to farm. As you can see, there are three pools. Two of them require PFI tokens, which basically nobody has at this moment. So the only option at the moment for me at least is AVEX Ethereum. And luckily I already prepared some. Just quickly go to uh, Pangolin Exchange. It needs to be um, Pangolin uh, pool tokens, by the way. So you go to Pangolin Exchange, you add to a pool, you put some AFX in, you put some Ethereum in. It should be pretty basic uh, to everyone right now, but if not, let me know. No worries. You take those tokens, right? And you click here and you're actually going to find that you're going straight to the contact contract interaction on the C-Chain Explorer. Now, this may be a bit scary for everyone and that's what this video is for, right? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to find out um, the token address for the specific pool token you have, you would decide you want to supply. Now, most logically in your case, it's going to be the same as mine. It's going to be Ethereum AFEX. Uh, I will copy the link. I will also copy a link to this document that I'm using um, that you can just follow. It will have all the data that you can copy right there. Right, so you take this contract um, address and you go to approve, you put in spender address, um, which will also be in the file and it's the master chef contract. And you set the value to a, one with a whole bunch of zeros. Um, it looks a bit scary, that's in way, so that's already, you know, a couple factors down. Also, it doesn't necessarily have to be this number, but just put it at whatever, so it's not gonna run into any limits, right? Now you click right and you confirm the transaction in your wallet and you should be good to go. What can happen now is that the MasterChef contract is allowed to spend your pool tokens. Now on the same contract page, you go to uh, read contract and you go to balance off and you're gonna put in your own address, your own MetaMask address and you press query. You're gonna get a number returned which, you're gonna con uh, which you are going to want to write down or remember or just have ready to copy paste, right? Because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a different link and different contracts in the uh, CChain Explorer. This is the MasterChef contract. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill in our PID, which is your pool ID. Essentially zero is P5 AFEX, one AFEX Ethereum, two P5 PNG pool tokens. Of course, we're gonna go with one. We're gonna enter the amount and this is where you paste the value you just got from the other address that I told you to remember or write down. When you confirm this transaction in MetaMask, you're all good to go. You have now deposited PFI into Penguin Finance and you can start farming some of that sweet, sweet PFI. So last step, we're gonna make sure that everything went well. Within the MasterChef contract, we're gonna go to read contract and we're gonna go to the bottom, number 13, user info. We're gonna put in the ID, so zero, one, or two, depending on which pool you're in. Of course, we're in one, AFX Ethereum, and we're gonna paste our own address, and we're gonna query it. We're gonna see the number uh, of pool tokens in way, it's correct, and we're also gonna see that our rewards, which is the second number, is zero, which is also correct because it's not live yet. Guys, if you got to this screen, congratulations, you're ready to farm some PFI tokens. Now remember, there's not currently any withdrawal fees, but um, after two days from the top of my head, there will be a 4% withdrawal fee to withdraw your tokens from the pool. A 3% of which, or 75%, 3% total of which will be used to market by PFI tokens and burn them. Uh, this in order to hopefully increase their value. Also staking is not live yet, but when it does go live and you do unstake early, there will also be a small fine for that. All of this just to incentivize people for to hold on their tokens, right? So guys, much more to come. I'm also sure that includes a full web 3.0 ready UI, but if you want to be early, you know, just like with snowballs and farm some early PFI tokens, this is the way to do it. 
I hope you managed to follow along. If not, check the document in the description or ask in the comments. I'm ready to try and help and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.